Jones. It's on, and it's on right now. Oh, this is now, boy. I, I can't, you know, up until now, this fight, this pride has been an awesome, awesome show. And this is beyond icing on the cake. And here we go. It's round one. I don't think I made myself clear, Steve. This is the biggest fight in mixed martial arts history. This is it right here. Yeah. Two of the greatest meeting. Hanzo coming out with a right roundhouse kick to the body. Sakurabas exchanging his own kicks. Oh, this could be a stand-up war, or this could be a ground war. It could go either way. Kenzo wants to make Sakuraba take him down. He wants to strike him and take him down. He feels if he tries to force the takedown, he's going to expend a lot of energy. So he's going to go in there, trade with Sakuraba. He feels like he can. He feels like he can box better than him. There he goes. Okay, he's going in there, swarming with punches. Good knee at the middle. Not a lot on it, but the fact is he's got Sakuraba in the corner. And Sakuraba taking his time, being patient. Now, Sakuraba, uh, when he fought Hoist Gracie, Enzo's cousin, was very, very patient because the fight was with no time limit. This fight, uh, contrarily, is for two 10-minute rounds. So he probably will be... Oh, there, there oh, Enzo pulls guard. Exactly what Henzo wanted. Exactly. Now, you hear the crowd cheering, but this is what Henzo wanted. Henzo wanted to force Sakuraba to take him down. Henzo wants to be in the guard. Sakuraba defending well, trying to keep him up and popping up. And Henzo with the up kick. Now, that's a dangerous kick. And Hanzo has not people out with that kick from the bottom. And he says he drills it constantly. Good low kick by Hanzo. Sock pulled out a little bit, so it caught the foot rather than the shin. I don't think you're going to see Hanzo on his back playing the butt scoop. He's going he's to pop back up. Hanzo throwing another good right low kick. Unlike Hoist and Hoyler, Hanzo has real true stand-up skills. The sack oh, yeah. must respect. Another good low kick by... Enzo Gracie. Enzo needs to watch that high round kick to the head. Sakuraba does do strikes. Now, there's another low kick. Now, it's ironic that Sakuraba stopped Hoist Gracie with low kicks, but Enzo is chopping away at Sak. Now, Sak going with his low kick. Now, Enzo is dangerous from this position, folks. Don't think that he's in a position of weakness here. And like I said earlier, he drills the up kick. He actually showed it to Murillo Bustamante. Bustamante didn't ha really have that much faith in it, didn't drill it. Sack with another good kick to the leg. Another hard kick to Henzo's leg. He didn't, like I said, Bustamante didn't drill Another good kick by, by Sakuraba. Okay, now there, there's a little bit of a stalemate here. Now, Sakuraba pressing the action. Henzo trying to stomp at the leg. Henzo back up. More action. Smooth. That was smooth. He got up. Yeah, as you were saying about the, the kick, he talked to Marilla Bustamante before he uh, fought Jerry Bolander, uh, Eddie. Yeah, he didn't believe in it until he saw him, he saw him knock out Oleg. And Mar he, Marilla didn't believe yeah, it. Yeah, he didn't believe in it. Then he saw Henzo knock Oleg out. Ooh. Oh, nice roundhouse kick, but it was, it was blocked, it was blocked. And Henzo made a big deal about showing everybody that it was blocked. But they're coming in swinging bombs here, folks. Don't blink on this one. Good right hand by Sakuraba. I don't know that Sakuraba should try and kickbox it. Now, Henzo shoots in for the single. Sakuraba underhooks, and Henzo gets out beat without eating a knee. These guys are going down. Trading. Man, this is a fast action fight. So far, Henzo may have had the upper hand, landed more strikes, more low kicks. Sakuraba is fighting more aggressive than I've seen in any of his fights. He's coming forward, using his hands. He's really not known for his hands. Okay, so both men have their uh, right knees taped up. Uh, maybe from previous injuries, or maybe just for, oh, good left round. Had a nice chipping right hand by Sakuraba. Because he's got to keep his hands up, because Sak will throw bombs. Nice right low kick by Sakuraba. It's turning into a kickboxing war, and I didn't have much on it. Looks like Sakuraba's going to try to chop Henzo down. Henzo's got a tight kick of his own. Now, Henzo has got to make sure not to shoot as well because Henzo does come in pumped up and try and get aggressive sometimes in the early part of the fight, and he can fade sometimes midway to late through the fight. Sakuraba pacing himself, kind of waiting for Henzo to dictate the action of which he has been so far. 
But Sakuraba has switched to southpaw position with the right foot in front. Ends up shooting in, Sakuraba trying the knee. Sakuraba going for another low kick. Great fight so far. A lot of strategy coming into play right now. Enzo realizing that Sakuraba is not just going to get knocked out real quick. Uh, five minutes into the round, halfway through. Trying to outfox each other here, trying to outfake each other. Who will make the first move? Who will make the first mistake? Sakuraba being the aggressor. Backing Henzo up. No, oh, good. Low kick by Sakuraba. Both men exchanging punches. None of them landing. Henzo coming back with a nice low kick of his own. Those roundhouse kicks will take their toll later in the fight because you kick a guy enough from the leg, it's hard for him to shoot. It's hard for him to have mobility later on. I tell you, Steve, I'm impressed with Henzo's standard for you. Yeah, I, I really am because Henzo has really boxed and kickboxed well. Uh, he's missing wildly sometimes, like he just did there. But the fact is, he's pressing the action. He's low kicking well. His hands are okay, but his kicks are the ticket. Sakuraba has landed some good counter shots. I don't think we're going to see the back kick because in order to throw a back kick, you have to wait till the opponent slows down just a bit. And Henzo is all wound up in this fight. I have a strange feeling that we're not going to see too much ground work today. Could be. Or if we do see it, we will see it in later in this round or in the second round. They're locked up on the, uh, on the the referee may tell them to get busy here. Sakuraba not worried about a takedown. He's got a real good wrestling base, and he trained with one of the greatest wrestling coaches in Japan, Mr. Ota, who was a silver medalist in wrestling in the Olympics. So he's got a real good wrestling foundation. Henzo's coach telling him to back up and throw the right hook. I think he's content with just holding on right here. And he's just going to wait for somebody to make a move, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody stepped back and exploded with punches, much the same way Ken Shamrock was doing earlier. It's the waiting game, folks. We have to be careful with that knee straight at the middle because we don't want to accidentally hit the groin. I wouldn't be surprised if the referee broke it up and moved him to the center of the ring. Yeah, because there is no action right now. The referee, okay, he's bouncing the rope. Uh, both men are playing the waiting game. There's High and Gracie, fresh off his spectacular victory over Kendo Kaishin. Uh, Sakuraba could basically be throwing the right hand to the body to loosen Henzo up, but they're, they, you know, they, they know about pacing, but this isn't an unlimited time limit fight. They should get busy, and there he goes, just as, he, as you said, Eddie. Break him up, let him stand up. I think that's an advantage for Sakuraba, definitely. I think so, too. Sakuraba oh. goes to the body with the left roundhouse kick. Henzo blocks the kick, but still it digs in under the arm. Henzo needs to watch those leg kicks, especially the ones to the head. Sakuraba has powerful kicks, including the spinning back kick. I wonder if we'll see that today. Because uh, Henzo is... An orthodox uh, stand-up fighter, meaning the left foot is in front, it would be the right back kick that would be the effective weapon. Enzo coming with that left hook, and a good low kick by Enzo Grace. You can hear the smack all the way through this stadium. Henzo's strikes are impressive. It's those kicks that are impressing me. His hands tend to miss a little bit. Going for the high kick, that's, you know, <laughs> that it would be hard to catch Sakuraba with a high kick, but still, why not go for it? Keep the match going. It looks good to a judge. Now, nice. Sakuraba's got his hands down, not a wise move. He's basically almost giving uh, hands of grace a free punch to the chin. I, I don't know that Sakuraba's a good enough boxer to be able to slip all those punches. Sakuraba's got a very strange stand-up style, very elusive, and he doesn't telegraph his moves. Oh, he's going to go for a double Mongolian chop over the top. Look at that. Sakuraba getting fancy here. Now, when Sakuraba does that, Henzo should double the jab and come over the right hand. Sakuraba coming in with a left roundhouse, kicking the right hand over the top. Not a lot of power on those shots, but nonetheless, do score points. This is going to be a hard round to score. I think that Henzo's been aggressive. Oh, good low kick by Sakuraba. He does that off of the switch because it's from his lead leg, which is the right leg. Powerful kicks. 
Those could add up and take their toll later in the fight. Yeah. Angelo's keeping that right hand up. As they're coming and charging in, but he's dropping his hands when he comes charging in. Sakuraba dipping to the right and throwing the left hand over the top and nothing on it. Uh, Sakuraba. And there we go. And around one. And around one, folks. That yeah. round, that round's a little too close to call, but I have to go with Henzo in that round. He was more the aggressor. I would have to agree with you on that because he was the aggressor. Sakuraba did damage with the low kicks, and he also did damage when Henzo was on his back momentarily. But uh, Henzo was the better kicker in that round to the leg. I think I think Henzo worked harder. Got there we hear. Here's the replay. Okay. And there's the roundhouse kick, which was blocked, fortunately, for Henzo, but he did go high with that. Uh, and here's another replay of the, it was a high kick, but it was blocked by Henzo. But still, it's an offensive move. It looks good to a judge. And here, uh, Sakuraba fakes the high kick and throws the right low kick and catches Henzo. Interesting that uh, we didn't see any of, uh, okay, another low kick by uh, Sakuraba. That was a switch low kick, not a lot of power in that. Uh, interesting, they didn't show any of uh, Hanzo Gracie's offense because he had some significant offense you in know, that I, first round. I think round. Sakuraba definitely landed the harder kicks. Henzo was just a little busier. It could have went either way. You know, it was. A, I would hate to be a judge right now because uh, that was a close round. Henzo missed many of the punches he threw, but his kicks, predominantly all of them, landed. And Sakuraba used a lot of fakes. Landed a couple punches, but landed some great kicks. Um, I hate to rule fights or, or rounds a draw, but that was close to a draw. Although I got to lean a little bit towards Enzo. I just do, just for the aggression. I'm impressed with Sakuraba's ability to keep the fight up. The fight went down briefly, but he stood right up, backed up, landed a couple kicks. Down. You know, down. their stand-up styles are so different. Hanzo's got his hands up, and uh, Sakuraba's got his hands down, but they don't land punches to each other's feet. Here we go, round two, folks. And this will be the final round unless they fight to a draw, at which time we will get to a five-minute overtime in that case. Sakuraba right foot forward. Hanzo Gracie left foot forward. Hanzo shooting in. Oh, nice spin around. Take down by Sakuraba. Sakuraba chopping away. Oh, he faked the jump, folks. Sakuraba will jump through the air, but he faked the jump and he didn't do much, but he's sidekick and punch over the top. You don't know what this man is going to do. Amazing, absolutely amazing. The one thing I like about Sakuraba is he is one of the most creative mixed martial artists. And he will he will coin moves in his fights. He will do a move before anybody else does it, and then the whole rest of the world will copy his moves. He definitely relies on triggering. You think he's going up for the stomp? And he comes in with a side kick. Oh, he's got to watch out for those kicks going straight. Oh, a back kick to the leg? My God. Now, that I've never seen that one before. Uh, you know, that's shades of uh, K1 great Andy Hoog, who used to throw back kicks to the leg. Maybe he's paying a little tribute to Andy Hoog. Yeah, Andy Hoog passed away uh, several days ago. But God rest his soul. Superstar from Switzerland. K1 fighter extraordinaire. Sakuraba on top. Hensel. Down on the bottom, eating a few kicks. And Sakuraba gonna grab those feet much the same way he did with Vitor Belfort. And there's that up kick. Oh, he's gotta be careful of that. that oh, good one kick by Sakuraba. That was a punishing kick to the thigh of Henzo Gracie. Seems like this is Sakuraba's game plan. Take, he's taken Henzo down a couple times and then he backs up to get in this position. He wants this position. Yeah. When he, in his previous fights, it just kind of ended up in this position and he kind of took advantage of it. Now, he's, this is a strategy. Take take a fighter down, Here's back up. Oh, caught the wheel! Almost got the leg. Hands up, pushed up. Oh, my God. What will happen in this fight? We don't know. Anything can happen. So, with Sakuraba, he just comes through with some of the craziest moves. 
I'd like to see another one of those. It is nice. Another low kick. You know, Sakuraba's got this round so far. He's in control. Hands, okay, hands, hands back up. Sakuraba comes in. Hands goes over the top of the right hand. Most punches missing. Much more spirited round this time than the first round, although the first round they were picking a lot at each other. Like, as they're coming in, lunging in the right hand. There he goes. He's going to back out. Pulling He's going to back out and try to attack the legs again. He's got a half a butterfly guard. I don't think he's going to try and sweep Sakuraba. Sakuraba passing the guard without any, you know, Offense from Hensel Gracie. I don't think it's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. He's gonna back out here. I hope I'm wrong. I'd like to see a little ground action. Well, you know, people who want to see ground action will say that a man who stands up is afraid to go to the ground, but then the reverse could be true, that the man who wants the ground action is afraid to stand up. But in this case, we know both guys aren't afraid to stand up. There we go. Oh, Sakuraba trying for an axe kick over the top. Full guard. Falling down into the guard. Henzo's, Henzo's gonna hold his head down here. He's not gonna let him stand up. There's Matsui and Takata, famous pro wrestler, in the corner of Sakuraba. He's not going to let go of that head, trust me. Yeah, a bit of a stalemate here. I don't know that... Uh, don't be su surprised if he works a, an arm bar for him. He's scooting the hips out. Sakuraba's smart. Yeah, Sakuraba is really well aware of the arm bar. He's got a great arm bar of his own. He's scooting the hips out again. Sakuraba's going to readjust. There we go. Even, every time he moves his hips to the left, Sakuraba clock, uh, goes counterclockwise himself. There he goes. So he's countering that move. A little bit of a chess match here, slowing down of the fight, turning it into a classic ground battle. Neither man in a negative position right here. Henzo possibly in a good position to apply, as Eddie said, the arm bar, or if he goes up high with the legs, the triangle, but I doubt Sakuraba's gonna get triangled. A lot of sweat here. Sweat makes it real difficult to get those submissions. There's, a possi there's a possibility here of an arm triangle. He has it set up. If Sakuraba has his left arm on the other side of Henzo's head, he can be in trouble. But I think he's a little too smart for that. Well, you know, if Hanzo keeps scooting, then that's, that'll show action. But if they do sit in this position for too long, they may, they may leave the referee with the unfortunate task of possibly restarting them standing. Because yeah. right now, Hanzo is just basically hanging on. He's trying to scoot those legs up high. Just might be too sweaty to pull off an armbar or triangle. Too sweaty. That's why what Ensign did coming in with pants, that's why I think that was a smart move. Yeah. Yeah, it was his only shot, really. Yes. It, it didn't work, as we saw, but still, nonetheless, with the sweat being a factor, and Henzo, now he's not holding the hand up. He's holding his arms. Looks like he's going to go for it. But he, he doesn't want Sakuraba to do the Mongolian chop or the Shiwu chop, and Sakuraba back up. Here we go again. Uh, Four Sakuraba, minutes to go. Sakuraba go, almost going back into the garden, and there's the low kick by Sakuraba. Sakuraba dancing out of harm's way. Doesn't want to catch an up kick. That could put Hanzo Gracie. Hanzo Gracie is fighting a little bit defensive right now. Sakuraba is pressing more of the action. Tough round to call. I would hate to see this fight go to the distance. Oh, Sakuraba basically just toying with him now. Not doing damage, but doing a psychological situation. I could almost guarantee this fight will go into overtime. It seems like it. Now, uh, Henzo jumps up and Sakuraba goes with a left hook, but it misses clearly. So here they are standing back up, folks. Possibly some more kickboxing out of these gentlemen. This fight is too historic not to go to overtime. It's too close. Low kick by Sakuraba, answered by the right hand by Henzo Gracie. Good right hand. Nice low kick. Sakuraba tries to shoot, and a knee in the right hand by Hanzo Gracie. Putting him back. Oh, a kick by Sakuraba. 
He was blocked. He needs to watch those high kicks. Don't want to catch that high kick. Realistically, Sakuraba has never knocked someone out with a high kick, but, oh, Sakuraba going for a single here. Going for a single leg, but gives it up. Henzo with that knee again. Henzo scoring. Henzo has been working a lot of good Muay Thai, and those knees have been landing with, uh, with some pretty solid effect to Sakuraba. He's not hurt, but they're not real weak knees. This fight is so close. Oh, it's so close. This will definitely go to overtime unless something dramatic happens in the next. If the fight doesn't end, it will go to overtime. It's yeah. too close. Left hand, this fight is nothing too, on it. Too big. Too big just to end it. Enzo wants the box. Maybe he sees a weakness in Sakuraba's stand-up game. Oh, Sakuraba shoots. Gets the single leg off the ankle pick. And down into a loose cross. Henzo almost went for a leg there. See that? And back into Henzo's guard. Henzo scooting out. Sakuraba stacking up. Henzo pushing him back. Oh, just going to chamber that right kick. Sakuraba was looking for it. Yeah, he was. Oh, oh. Hey, that was a nice move, but Sakuraba just gives him his back. Now, Henzo is a dangerous guy to give his back to, but he's, he's, he's working that side, side uh, Kimura here. Sakuraba loves that move. The Kimura. I don't think he's ever finished anybody that way. Maybe in his gym. The real time, real fight. I don't think it's, I don't think it'll happen. Ooh, he's got his back. One minute. Henzo needs to make a move right One now. One minute left. He needs to do something. He needs to sink his hooks in right now. He needs to go for it. Yeah. Okay. Henzo's on the top, but Sakuraba is not in danger at all. Sakuraba, he would almost invite Henzo to try to hook the legs in because he want to go for the knee ball. Oh! Twisting, spinning, Kimura. You know, Henzo went to the leg. Uh oh, it was right there, right there. You could see it on his face. Uh, you know, he had no other option. He couldn't have continued. That left arm was, in fact, possibly fractured. But Henzo never gave up. The true warrior, Henzo Gracie, and the true champion, Kazushi Sakuraba, the man of the moment. There it is again. Now, Helio Gracie lost from a Kimura. Yeah, so Spoiler lost from the Kimura. Number three, Henzo with the Kimura.